everybody. Hope you guys are warm in your homes and in your rooms because it's freezing. But anyway, I hope you guys had a great and fantastic week. And as you know, it is a very special weekend this weekend because it is Mother's Day tomorrow, right? Well, Mother's Day for the whole weekend, okay? And so right now, mothers, we hope that you guys are watching this because this chapel is especially for you. We are going to celebrate you. We are going to thank you. And just to let you guys know that we treasure you. All right. But before we continue on, two announcers is obviously we got a chapel back online next week, 2 p.m. So make sure you gather all your family and all your friends that are at home to sit together and, and watch chapel. And the second thing is, we did say last week, we did uh, that we'll have a 60 second challenge um, for you guys this week, but we decided to change it. And instead, we've got an activity for you guys, okay? So you're gonna make sure that you have your piece of paper, one piece of paper, and also one scissors, okay? All right, so remember last week we had a Bible verse, so this Bible verse is here for you again. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, for God gave us not of fear, but of and, and self-control. <laughs> All right. Now, I hope you guys um, remember the Bible verse because as you can see, there were a few blanks. We told you we're going to be testing you. All right. So get ready. We're going to be singing some songs. So stand up, everybody. Stand up. Stand up. And we're going to sing one of our favorite songs, Children of God. Okay. I want to hear you guys singing. Let's go. glad that you guys joined in with the singing i know you guys would have sung because we always sing like crazy so i can't wait till we get to have chapel again and we can all stand and sing and do the actions together so thanks so much guys well right now i hope you guys have your piece of paper and i also hope you guys have your scissors 
all right? Because we are about to do an activity. Now this activity, it's not for you, but it is for someone who is either your mother or your grandmother or your auntie or someone that's been like a mum to you because it is Mother's Day, right? So what we're going to create is a paper heart with Pastor J. All right, here we go. So what you want to do, okay, grab the corner of your paper and bring it all the way up until it lines up with the baseline, okay? Here we go, just like that. And now what I want you to do is I want you to grab your scissors. All right. <coughs> grab the scissors, okay? And then I'll, now I want you to just, just cut along, just cut along here, all right? Cut along that part there, all right? Because you want to get rid of, you want to get rid of this part, all right? So once you're done with that, you get rid of that, okay? So now we've got a square, all right? Now what I want you to do is, I want you to grab this corner, okay? Make sure. Make sure it's facing like this. Grab this corner and bring it over to the other corner. Okay. Bring it over to the other corner and then fold that. All right. All right, so now hold it like this in front of you. Okay. But now turn it on an angle. All right, like a diamond. Okay, like a diamond. And bring this top corner and bring it just to the middle. All right, fold it to the middle. And then I want you to bring this bottom corner. All right, and you're gonna bring it all the way to the top. All right, all the way to the top. All right, in the middle. All right, I'm folding it top in the middle, just like that. Okay. And then now I want you to all right, grab this corner, all right? This corner here, and you're gonna bring that all the way up to the middle, okay? Bring all the way up to the middle, and then fold this side, all right? And do the same with this side. So grab this corner, bring it all the way up to the middle, okay? To the middle here. Oh, Pastor J's heart looks a bit wonky. All right, and fold that there. All right, we're nearly there. Grab it, turn it over. All right, we'll bring this corner down to here, down to the middle, line it up, and do the same with this side here, this corner, down to here. Okay, and now, right now, I want you to grab this corner, and fold, fold it in like this, all right? So you wanna bring this corner and just fold it in just like that, okay? Fold it in just like that. And you have a heart, voila! Now what you can do is, all right, you can open up the heart and you can write something in it, write some, a little message to mom, you can decorate it, do whatever you want. But then after that, when you're finished, Close the hearts again, turn it over, and fold in the corners, okay? And you can give that, give that message of love to your mama, or to your grandma, or to your auntie, to whoever it is that you want to, uh, you want to say thanks to, all right?
Deacon. Well, as you know, it is a very special day coming up, okay? And I want to talk to you guys about one of the most mightiest, strongest women that was in my life, that is still in my life. And this is my mom. So my mom, her name is Mata. And mom, if you're watching this, I love you. But um, um, mom... You know, when I was a kid, about your age, I could remember mum getting up, making my lunch, ironing my clothes. I remember her, you know, making sure that I've packed my bags ready for school. And then she makes sure I've, my shoelaces are tied, make sure my hair is done well. And then she, you know, makes, makes sure that I, I, I walk to the bus stop safely. Until I get on the bus, then my mum will go and then after that I don't see my mum until the end of school and then by the time I come back to school I see mum and there mum is mum is has made made dinner ready for us she welcomes us with open arms and hugs us and says oh I'm glad that you guys are home and yeah and then after that mum will make sure that she does uh, make sure that we are doing our homework and that we are staying focused because she wanted us to have such a good education and then mum would also make sure that we have something in our bellies and then she would make sure that we go and get some sleep and then we are lying in bed and we get some rest and then after that wake up and then it's you know same thing over and over again but I also remember mum taking us out to theme parks 
I remember mom taking us out to the movies, playing games with us. And one thing that my mom always loved to do is she loved to make jokes. And we always laughed and laughed and laughed. But the thing is, there was a side to mum that I never saw. And this was, this really, really, um, you know, kind of blew my mind when I started learning more about, about, about mum. I never saw her waking up early in the morning. I never saw mum when, when I've gone to school. She is cleaning the house. She is trying to look after herself. And she, you know, I never saw the emotions that mom went through because she was doing her best to try and stand strong for me and my brothers and sisters. Mom didn't want to didn't want to show her 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 struggling and she didn't want to show her weaknesses because she wanted us to make sure that we were doing okay. And I know that your mothers are like this too. And I know that your mothers are strong. I know that your, your mothers, and it could be grandmothers, could be aunties, could be your foster mother, whoever's a mother figure in your life, you know that everything that they are doing is because everything that they are doing is for you because they love you and they want the best for you. And there is, there is a quote by Don and Ball this lady, and she says this, motherhood is a choice you make every day to put someone else's happiness and well-being ahead of your own, to teach the hard lessons, to do the right thing, even when you're not sure what the right thing is, and to forgive yourself over and over again for doing the wrong thing. You know, a successful mothers, successful mothers are not the ones that never struggled, but they are the ones that never give up despite the struggles. Mothers, we want to take this time to thank you and we want to take this time to acknowledge you in the hard work that you have done in building all of us up, all of us, our kids and grandkids, foster kids. We want to thank you so much for constantly constantly loving us despite the struggles that you guys go through there's a ver verse here i want to share with you guys and it talks about god's love all right this is the kind of love that god um, that god shows us and it's in first corinthians 13 verse 4 to 8 it says this love is patience love is kind love does not envy it does not boast it is not proud it does not dishonor others it is not self-seeking it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. And mothers, you're probably thinking, oh man, I'm definitely not that. Oh, I definitely need work on those. <laughs> but we can honestly say that you you continually do your best to show any form of love for each and every one of us and so we want to thank you and right now kids if you're with your mothers right now all right if they are at home all right i want you to pause this video and i want you to go grab your mother grab your mother and bring them here and if you are at school watching this okay go back home and show mom this video so you guys can watch it together and when it gets to this grab your mom all right hold her hand because right now i would love to pray over your, your mother okay well let's pray jesus thank you so much that you love us and thank you for these mighty women who are in our lives who are doing everything they can for us who continually show love for us and so I want to pray that may you continue to bless them and continue to help them persevere through their struggles and also give them joy to know that they too are treasured, that they too are loved by you. All right. So thank you, Father, for these mighty women in our lives um, and help us to grow, to build our relationship stronger together. In Jesus name. Amen. All right, guys. 
that's a wrap for our chapel today. All right, hope you guys get to make a heart, write a little message in it, okay? And then give it to, give it to your mother or grandmother, or auntie or foster mother, whoever it is, all right? And tell them and show them how much you love them, okay? All right, well, have a great weekend and, uh, and stay tuned for next week as well. Okay, see ya.